Checking answers and inequalities is very similar to checking answers and equations. In fact, it's exactly the same process. We're going to take the information we're given for the variable, in this case a equals 10, and we're going to substitute that in place of the variable in the equation. So we're going to take this 10, put it in place of the a over here, and then check the answer and see if it's a true statement. So we start with 20a is less than or equal to 250. We substitute in that 10 in place of the a, and we'll get 20 times 10 is less than or equal to 250. 20 times 10 is 200. And since 200 is indeed less than or equal to 250, this is a true statement, and our answer, a equals 10, is correct. Here's another example of checking the answer on an inequality. The information we're given tells us that b is equal to negative 0.5, and that 3b, or sorry, 3 minus b divided by b is greater than negative 4. So we just need to take this information here, plug it in in place of b, and see if we come out with a true statement. So we'll have the quantity 3 minus negative 0.5 divided by negative 0.5 is equal, I'm sorry, is greater than negative 4. So we do our order operations, tells us we need to worry about the section up here first. 3 minus negative 0.5, when we're subtracting a negative we add, so that gives us 3.5 on top, and we still have our negative 0.5 on the bottom, is greater than negative 4. 3.5 divided by 0.5, if we're dividing by a half, that's the same as multiplying by 2, so 3.5 twice would be 7, and we have a single negative sign. Since that's an odd number of negative signs, our answer will be negative. So we have negative 7 is greater than negative 4. Now this might look like a true statement, but remember that a more negative number is smaller. It's farther from 0. So this statement is not true, and our answer up here is incorrect. To organize a picnic, Peter needs at least two times as many hamburgers as he has hot dogs. He has 24 hot dogs. What is the possible number of hamburgers Peter has? We're going to use h to represent the number of hamburgers. We know that the number of hamburgers has to be at a minimum twice the number of hot dogs. So we're going to say that he has to have at least two times 24 as his number of hamburgers. That means that the number of hamburgers is going to be greater than or equal to 2 times 24. 2 times 24 is 48. So 48 is less than or equal to h, the number of hamburgers, or we could say the number of hamburgers is greater than or equal to 48, which is twice the number of hot dogs. Now we'll take our information and we'll check it. Since h has to be greater than or equal to 48, and we know that 2 times 24 has to be less than or equal to h, we can say 2 times 24 needs to be less than or equal to 48. By plugging this information back into our original equation. Since 2 times 24 is 48, and 48 is less than or equal to 48, our statement is true, and any number 48 or more hamburgers will work according to its credentials.